Oh, good day, everyone. I am Sir Jiggs. For questions, feedback, and requests, you can find me at jttodayo2014 at gmail.com. So for today, our lesson is permutation with repetition. Now, what is permutation with repetition? So this is an example. If you can still recall, this is the first example that I gave in the last video. How many three-digit numbers can be formed from 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 if no number is repeated? Okay, so this time, we are going to remove that condition wherein no number is repeated. So this time, there is going to be repetition. Okay, so for example, you can have a three-digit number just like 333. Okay, so as you can see, the digit 3 there is repeated. Alright, so this is what we are going to focus on. Permutation with repetition. So, uh, I just want to make sure that you can follow. If you haven't seen this lesson video, you must see this first before you proceed, uh, you proceed with this. Okay, now let's uh, look at this first example. Again, how many three-digit numbers can be formed from... 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 if repetition is allowed. So as you can see, repetition is allowed. Alright. Now, let's go back to the strategy of uh, filling in the boxes or the multiplication principle. So you have three digit numbers. So these three boxes again represent those three digits. So the first digit, um, second digit, third digit. So if repetition is allowed and uh, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, we have 5 numbers to choose from. So definitely we have 5 choices or 5 options for this box. Again, repetition is allowed. So we can, if we have already picked the first digit here, we can still pick that for the second digit. So that means we, we also have five choices for the second. And we have also five choices for the third digit. All right? And 555 is one of the examples of that three-digit numbers wherein repetition is allowed. So in short, this is equal to 5 to the power of 3 or 5 cubed equals 125. Let's move on to the second example. A car plate number consists of three letters followed by three numbers. How many different plate numbers can be formed if repetition of letters and numbers is allowed? Okay, so this is an example of that plate number. So the first uh, three would be letters and then followed by three numbers. So again, let's have those uh, boxes. So the first three are for the letters. And the next will be the next three would be for the numbers. All right, let's start with the first three letters. So if repetition is allowed, and how many letters do we have in the English alphabet? We have 26. Okay, 26 choices. So for example, if this is A, if this is A, then the second letter can also be A. So giving us the same thing, 26 choices as well. And if this is A, second letter is A, so third letter can also be A. So that means we have 26 choices. So that is from A, A, A to Z, 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 Z or Z, Z, Z. All right? Um, okay, so giving us 26 to the power of 3 or 26 cubed. Now, moving on to the uh, next Okay, which will be the three numbers. So first number is 10. Why 10? Because we have 10 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 10 choices. All right. Second number. If this is 0, first number is 0, then second number can also be 0, giving us also 10 choices. And... Uh, third number should, will also be 10 choices. So in short, this is uh, 10 to the power of 3. So multiply both. This will give us how many plate numbers? 
18,576,000. All right. So this kind of um, system of assigning plate numbers can accommodate 18,576,000 cars. So if you can see now the pattern, we can come up with a generalization that permutation of R items from N distinct items where repetition is allowed in symbols, that will be N to the power of R. Okay, N to the power of R. Exam example three, how many three digit numbers can be formed from zero, three, four, five, and six? If repetition is allowed. Now let's look at zero. So why is it bigger than the rest? I would I would like to emphasize here zero. Why? Because first digit, if we're if we're uh, finding out the number of three digit numbers that we can come up with, do you think the first digit can be zero? Okay, of course not. So this is a re restriction that we must need to satisfy. So first digit cannot be zero, so which means we only have four choices for that. Second digit, five, cho five choices, because this time second digit now can be zero. And since repetition is allowed, a third digit will, will, will give us five choices. So multiplying all of these three numbers, we will have four times five square, which is equal to 100. All right, so just be uh, mindful of that if the question concerns about coming up with the number of n digit numbers so the first digit must not be zero example four okay so this is the same example that we that that I used in the last lesson video all right but uh, this time we are going to remove this condition so in that video I gave this, this example but no digit, digit can be used more than once so this is uh, without repetition this time we're going to remove that so we are allowing repetition of digits all right so find how many different four digit numbers can be formed okay now let's take a look at the choices eight digits so there's no zero at all one two three four five six seven and eight so we don't have to worry about the first Digit. Okay, now let's change the question to um, if repetition of digits is allowed, find how many different four digit numbers can be formed if there are no restrictions. So again, this is an example of permutation wherein repetition is allowed. So since there are no restrictions, uh, n is equal to 8 and then r is equal to 4. So giving us 8 times 8 times 8.